What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the process that I use to clean my wheels. Now these are specifically black wheels and they are a satin finish which typically tend to build up a ton of dirt and, and doesn't really wanna release it very easily. So there's a few more steps that I'm gonna use here. But in today's video, we're going to be using the barrel blade, the new barrel blade from Auto Fiber. I just wanna highlight this for you guys really quickly because it's a really cool tool. Uh, basically ships, there's two pieces, right? You have the barrel blade itself, which is coated in this nice rubber, but it has a piece of steel, I guess, in here, so you can bend it so that you can fit it behind spokes anywhere you need it to. Uh, it also bends back really easily. It's got good memory to it, so you don't have to worry about that. A uh, little handle, just screw it right on. And then as you can see on the barrel blade itself, it has this little hole piece right here, and that is what makes this thing so fantastic. You have your little microfiber uh, cover here that goes onto the barrel blade, and this is where they really thought it through and made it better than all the others. There's a lot of uh, wheel tools like this out there, but the microfiber always wants to kind of slide off as you're going through and it wants to kind of separate and it's kind of a pain, you have to hold on to it. With this one, they created a whole closure system with buttons and this little thing. So you can slide the barrel blade into the microfiber sleeve and then just take the buttons, right? And clasp them down. There's one, there's the other. Not coming off, guys. Fantastic tool, I really, really love this thing. Highly recommend it. It's quickly become my favorite wheel cleaning tool. Um, I also really like the Wooly Warm It. Fantastic tool as well, but this one is a little bit thinner. Um, well, I mean, once you compress all the microfiber down, it's a little bit thinner, so you're able to access things easier. Plus, I like the handle on this much better because on the Wooly Warm It, it has like a lug cleaner on the other side, which is cool. I just personally didn't use it very much, and uh, so it just didn't have as much grip, but I really like that tool as well. Now, additionally, guys, I'm going to be using Magic Wheel Cleaner from Kokemi. This is a fantastic wheel cleaner. It's also an iron remover, so you'll see it kind of turn purple and bleed out. Um, this, in a lot of cases, on normal wheels, normal alloy wheels, I can usually just load this up, let it dwell, rinse it off, and many times I don't even have to agitate the wheel. So this is fantastic. With these wheels though, like I said, it's caked in there and I'm going to have to agitate. Now along with the Magic Wheel Cleaner, we're also going to be using Green Star, which is a universal cleaner. It's a alkaline cleaner, so it's a little bit higher on the pH scale. Uh, does a fantastic job. We're gonna be using this on the tires. And then finally, to get in there and agitate everything, get everything loosened up, like I said, we're using Magic Wheel Cleaner first. This will kind of be our pre-treatment for it, break everything down and get everything loosened up. Then I'll load it up with some GSF, gentle snow foam. And uh, you can use any foaming soap, but I really, really like this stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna load that up, and then we'll go in and agitate with this guy. So my car's right out front, so let's go ahead and head over there and I'll show you guys exactly what we're working with. All right guys, so here we are at the car. As you can see, the wheel is here. I'm actually gonna get a close-up uh, video of it for you guys on my phone. So you can really just see how dirty it is. And you can see here, just, Really filthy, um, and even like, well that part wiped up pretty good. But over here, you can see I was rubbing it and it didn't wanna, it doesn't wanna wipe off super easily. But look at that dirt and contamination in the wheel. So like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the Magic Wheel Cleaner. We're gonna load this up on the wheel, let it dwell, let it do its thing, and then we will rinse that away and move on to the next step. So I like this wheel cleaner so much because as you can see, it really clings to the surface and gives it a chance to really break stuff down. It holds on to the area and uh, gives it more time to work. So I'm gonna make sure to spray back into the barrel as well, as well as along all the little, uh, little spokes of the wheel. All right, now we're just gonna let that dwell. I'm not gonna go onto the tire very much yet because this stuff isn't fantastic on the tires. That's why I bring over the, uh, the uh, Green Star product to really work on the tires and get those looking as, as good as they can and really get it prepped for my dressing. And as you can see, guys, you can see the reaction of it actually turning purple and kind of bleeding. That's just it uh, reacting with all the industrial fallout and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's a good sign, it means it's working. Now again guys, at this point you actually can go in with a wheel brush, a nice soft bristled brush. Um, I'll have all this stuff linked down in the description for you guys. Because this product has so much lubrication in it, it's, it works well with this. But like I said, in most cases with just basic alloy wheels and things like that, I don't have to do any agitation. I can just do this, let it work, rinse it off, and I'm good to go. The reason I'm not doing this right now is again, for that reason, this is just my pre-treatment. Then I'll follow up when I go and foam the car, we'll go in and agitate everything with the barrel blade and a couple wheel brushes. 
Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then we'll move on to the next step. And guys, these are already looking a thousand percent better, uh, especially on this type of a wheel. This is similar to like uh, if you have a 4Runner or a Tacoma or whatever that's a TRD Pro, it has those black wheels that are a nightmare to clean. This just worked so well. Let me go ahead and film it for you guys up close. And you can see there's still a little bit of dirt uh, on the surface, but not much, com you know, considering how baked in that was, it's looking pretty good. So uh, I'm already like, I mean, if you're just doing a maintenance wash, I'd be done here, but I want to go a little, a little bit further, show you guys the barrel blade and how to get in between and behind there and get that barrel all clean and good to go. So step two now, we want to go ahead and clean up the tire itself. So like I said, we're going to be using Green Star, but I diluted this down. This is why I like Kokemi products so much. They are higher priced for like a pint, but you can dilute them so much. You can actually dilute this product one to five and up to one to 30. So one part, one part product, 30 parts water. So it's really, really effective and efficient. So you can actually save money when you're using this stuff. For this, for my tires, I am using it one to five. So it's about five ounces of uh, product in this 30 ounce bottle, 32 ounce bottle. Now, one of the reasons I wanna make sure I rinse all this stuff off really, really well is I don't wanna have any kind of weird reaction between the cleaners. This stuff is a pH of 5.5, so it's more on the acidic side. The Green Star, before dilution or anything, is a pH of 11, I believe. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a higher pH. Oh, I'm sorry, it's showing 12.5 on here. So higher pH, I just don't wanna have any weird reaction between the two, so make sure to rinse all that off really well, and then you're good to go. So again, gonna go ahead and spray this now onto my tire. I'm gonna use my wheel brush. This is the one I sell on my site, but you guys can just use like the basic ones, whatever's fine. These are nice because they have a contoured angle, so it kind of fits the wheel of the, or the side wall of the tire. Um, or you can just use it this way as well, but we'll leave that up to you guys. Um, I'll have links to everything down in the description on my site as well as just on Amazon for the other ones. Uh, I'm gonna load up the brush a little bit as well, and then we're gonna agitate. And as you guys can see, it's not turning any like dark brown, anything crazy. I keep this car pretty clean in most circumstances. This time it's actually dirtier, dirtier than it normally is, but I don't have a lot of embedded dirt and stuff in the tire. So that's why I didn't turn completely brown. Go ahead and rinse that off. Now under normal circumstances, this is where I would go around do that exact process to all the wheels and tires. Then I would go ahead and foam up the car and do let that dwell while I come back. I would also foam the wheels and go in with my barrel blade. For this video's purposes, we're just gonna go straight to here. I'm not gonna foam the rest of the car right now just to make this video more precise for you guys. Um, so let me go ahead and grab my gentle snow foam. Again, you can use anything here, guys. I would just prefer using a pH balanced, pH neutral soap. That's what this is, 7.5 on the pH scale. That's basically neutral. Um, and then just foam it up and then we can get in and use the lubrication from this to agitate everything. Now, once again, guys, GSF is also very concentrated. So I typically use about an ounce in a uh, one liter bottle uh, for my foam cannon. You can actually get away with a little bit less than that, but I like using an ounce. You can actually go half ounce, but again, I like using an ounce. Now to get a nice precise measurement of this one ounce that I want to go in there, I have these available on my site. These are awesome. Uh, and you can actually spin the top of it. So just kind of hold it at the top spin the top and you'll see the little insert going higher and lower, right? There's a measuring uh, label on the side and let's just go, let's just do half ounce because that's, I want to show you guys how much foam you can still get with just half ounce and an MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So I have it marked to half ounce, right? All I have to do is squeeze this, product comes up, back it off, it'll sort of drain back in and leave us at half an ounce perfectly. So I love these things, they're super cool. They fit all like standard uh, 16 and 32 ounce bottles. So then I simply pop the cap on it, pour the product in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest with water. And as I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and foam this down now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my barrel blade. I'm just gonna spray it down. Just to give it some lubrication and moisture in it while I'm doing my agitation. Good to go, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. And here we go. Again, right now it's just straight, so I'm just gonna go in and get behind all of these things. And 
And again, guys, here's my brake caliper right here. It's very easy for me to get behind it. Now this isn't, this is a base Cayman, so the calipers aren't huge, but the, the, the girth or the thinness of this uh, barrel blade is perfect for getting behind it, even when it's a tighter, uh, tighter fit. And I, as you guys can see, I'm still getting some dirt, especially from this upper area. I apparently didn't spray up into that angle well enough. So that's why it's good to always kind of work in a process like this. So we're going back and getting all the stuff that we missed. Now with the barrel blade, I'm just gonna come across all the, all the little spokes. We're good to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Next up, I'm just going to take my wheel brush now and go ahead and agitate the, the rest of the surface of the wheel. That's it. Go ahead and rinse this out again. And then rinse off the wheel. Now that part where I loaded up with the foam cannon and went and agitated, that's when you can get your calipers and all that kind of stuff as well. We're just doing a kind of a basic overview here, so I just wanted to show you that part. Okay guys, the vehicle's all done now. The Tires and wheels are all dried. I used the Adams uh, new little handheld blower to dry all that off and it works super, super well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look up close and then I'm gonna go ahead and dress the tires and get this thing all done. So as you can see guys, the tire is all nice and clean. It's ready to be dressed. Uh, it's an important thing. You wanna make sure you prep the surface so that the dressing adheres to it properly. As far as the wheel goes, Guys, it looks so good. And again, 99% of this was done just from the Magic Wheel Cleaner, not even agitating. There's a little bit of, like that's just, you know, some little bit of uh, embedded damage in the wheel. But overall, it looks phenomenal. And then if we also look into the barrel, guys, everything is all nice and clean in there. The barrel blade did a fantastic job of removing all the grime and everything inside the actual barrel of the wheel. Now there's a little bit of contamination still on the, on the uh, brakes, on the rotors, but, um, if I let the product dwell a little bit on there, on there a little bit longer, it'll help pull that out because it is a non-corrosive product, the wheel cleaner itself. So uh, overall, it looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and get these things dressed up. Hey guys, final step, gonna dress the tires. I'm going to be using Plastar from uh, Coke Chemi. It's an, uh, let's see here, premium care for external plastic, silicone and oil free, can be used on external plastics and rubber parts, tires, door seals, etc. So now of course you can use any tire dressing you want, but personally I prefer a sprayable silicone free so you don't get that browning in the tire. This stuff's still cone free, so here we go. I'm just gonna load it up on my applicator pad. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the tires. Whoo, that looks so good. Guys, that's one of the things I love about this product. It absorbs in really, really fast, and it creates the darkest black of the tires. It's not overly shiny, it's just got a nice satin finish to it, but it really darkens the tire really quickly. So same thing here, guys. I'm gonna try and get a good view of it for you. Spray it onto the applicator pad, and apply it to the tire. I mean, you just look at that color that comes in. Super rich, dark black. Again, not overly shiny, just got a nice sheen to it. Rubs in really, really fast and well. Just spreads along really easily. And as you can see, I'm not overly applying the product, so you don't have to worry about that sling afterwards. Uh, when you drive away, you don't have to worry about any excess product flinging off the car or onto the car from the tire. So there you go, guys. A fast and efficient way to clean your wheels and tires and keep them looking their best, even when it's that satin black, kind of hard to clean area that's especially, like I said, on the Tacomas and uh, uh, 400 TRD Pro wheels that are black, they're just, they're a nightmare. This stuff works phenomenally well. Again, you can use any wheel cleaner and everything that you want, um, just kind of follow that same process. I do love that Magic Wheel Cleaner from Kokemi. It works really, really well. The fact that it clings onto the surface and stays lubricated and gives you a ton of working time, really, really good. And then also the Plastar dressing that I used on the tires. Again, a little bit goes a very long way. So you're really getting a good bang for your buck because it, like I said, you're gonna get a lot of use out of a one liter bottle. With that said guys, I appreciate all of you. Again, I hope this video helps. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.